Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to access and customize your GrooveCart theme for your GrooveCart store. So before we get into this I am going to say in other videos that I've done on themes there's usually been a theme store that lets you go in and look at different themes that have been designed by other graphic designers and artists that you can just plug and play into your store. In terms of research I've done and videos I've watched about GrooveCart, the theme customization options are going to be a lot more on you than they are on finding a theme that works for you. So you're not going to get as many plug in and play options on GrooveCart because it has a few built in themes you can choose from that'll be the starting point for your store's theme. So let me show you what I mean by that. To get to our theme options, we're going to go to our GrooveCart dashboard. And so once we're logged in, we're going to go to this menu up at the top right here with all these icons, and we're going to go to this one that is called the Page Editor. So what this is going to bring us to is an editor where we can go in and customize all the different things in our theme so we can really change the way our store looks. So I'm going to close that. And so once we get to this theme page, we can see all the different themes that we have. Again, you can't go into a different store and add your own. This is what you're going to use to start designing your own custom theme. So here we've got the default one. Um, all of these look pretty different. Grooved C is basically an Etsy style theme. If you're trying to do like an Etsy style store, this one is probably going to be the best starting point for you. If you're making an Amazon style store, uh, you're going to go to Groovazon because that's going to give you the color scheme and the kind of layout that Amazon is known for. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. Um, and then you've got awesome themes and drop shipping themes for obviously businesses like you who are doing drop shipping most likely. And so that's all you get. These are the only options you have when starting off with a theme in GrooveCart. And so now that we've gone over that these are the only themes you can look at, let's take a look at a few. So I'm going to change mine to the default theme to show you what this is going to look like. So if I refresh my page, now that the data was updated successfully, we can go into our home page and see that this is going to be what the default looks like. So this is going to be customizable, like so. But then if I go to something like Groovazon, and again, data updated successfully. If that hasn't happened, wait until that happens to refresh the page. And let me show you what I mean. So Groovazon is going to be the color scheme and layout of an Amazon store. So this is going to be the header of your page. So it looks kind of similar. Again, this is going to be a launching off point. This just gives you kind of a style that Amazon is known for. The Groove C1 does the Etsy one. So things like that are going to be way more up to you to start iterating on and designing around. So it's going to be a lot more on you to start designing around these themes than it would be on Shopify or WooCommerce where you can choose from a bunch of different themes. This is going to be all you get and you have to kind of make your store out of these. So what can we actually change? We can start turning things on and turning things off. So if you turn off the top banner, you can see that the top banner goes away. You can start editing the menu that's at the top of the screen. This is going to be all the tabs and where they bring you. Uh, and you can add links so you can make the contact page of your store. And you can also do this in the footer links. So if you want somebody to contact you, it can be the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. And when you're done, just press save. So if you want to gain some more customization options and match your store colors to your logo and branding, you can start turning on uh, Enable Custom Colors. And so that way you can go in and start tweaking the website so that different things on the page like icons and text will start matching the color scheme of your branding. And then this is just the website layout. This is what the average page is going to look like. And then you can start going in and customizing what your home page looks like from here. And this is going to be changing your sliders and what's on them, which products show up on the front, uh, category images. That's going to be the different categories uh, that lead to different collections of products. 
And so once you started playing with that, if you know a little bit of code and want specific things, you can go in and add up to five additional custom HTML blocks. So that way, if you want to design something very particular, you can just add the code yourself. And to do that, you just flip the switch on and then you can name it and then add the HTML code into this dialog box right here. So you can do that again up to five times. And so this is where most of the customization comes from. You'll be uploading your own custom HTML segments. That way you'll start to really define yourself from other stores that haven't done this. And then we can do the same thing for product pages where this is going to be the layout of all your products. And so you've got all of these options here. I'm not going to go too far into this because this is going to be very much. So designing one for me probably won't be as effective as just explaining what all of this is and letting you free with it. So this is going to be your checkout page. You can change how the screen looks when your customers start ordering things, what this looks like, everything right here. You can change settings for requiring phone numbers, just different things like that, security settings and things. This is going to be all in here for the checkout. And then you can choose to upsell products too, which is really cool. So when your customers are making their final decisions, they will get another offer that will benefit them and add value. And so you've got all these different choices. So you can really start customizing the experience for you, even though you're not really getting as much granular control over what your store looks like. There's still a lot of settings that will help you try to ensure success with your store. And then finally, on the additional pages, you can add different pages like frequently asked questions, size charts, terms and conditions, and then any other pages you want, you just add them, just name the title, add the URL, and then start filling the content here. So once we're done with that, what we always need to do is press save for all of them. And then we can go back to our home screen. And so that's a brief overview of how the themes work in GrooveCart. It's a lot less extensive as other platforms, but it still gives you a lot of control over what you want by letting you add HTML blocks and setting up upselling and getting really granular with your order pages and HTML control. So, And so while it may not be as customizable or extensive as other platforms, you can see that there's still a lot of control you have over how your store looks as long as you're willing to put in the effort and make the store your own by using the themes less as a theme and more of a jumping off point to really design your own store. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, be sure to leave them down below and we'll try to answer them as quickly and efficiently as possible. If you never want to miss a video, make sure you press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And lastly, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.